to know more such amazing stories from Indian history, click the bell icon and subscribe to Live History India. This stunning temple structure would be unlike anything that you would have seen before. The Nobukailasha Temple in West Bengal's town of Ambika Kalna, around two and a half hours drive from Kolkata, is a complex of 108 temples dedicated to Lord Shiva. While Bishnupur, which is about 140 kilometers away from here, is considered the heart of Bengal's terracotta temples, there are many who believe that it is Kalna that should be getting this honor. After all, the area around here is strewn with the most exquisite temples. However, these temples were built later than the famous Bishnupur temples. Interestingly, the Nobukailasha temple is connected to Bishnupur as well. It was built in 1809 by Maharaja Teja Chandra Bahadur, the Raja of Bardhavan, to celebrate the transfer and ownership of the royal estate of Bishnupur that was given to him. The Zamindari of Bardhavan was so big in the 19th century that the heads of the estate were given the title of Rajas. Adding Bishnupur, the old capital of the Mallas, to their land was seen as a great feather in the cap for Bardhavan. If Bishnupur was inspired by the famous city of Krishna, Brindavan, and built by the Malla king, Bir Hambir, in the 16th century, the Nobukailash complex was meant to be a new Kailash temple in Bengal. The temple, which is said to represent the beads of a rosary, or Rudraksh, which is closely associated with Shiva, has two concentric circles. The outer has 74 temples and the inner 34. Each of the small temples has a simple shivling inside. The ones in the inner circle have white shivlings, while the ones on the outside alternate between white and black. The white shivlings in the inner circle are supposed to depict the purity that one achieves as you meditate and go closer to Shiva. Opposite this complex dedicated to Shiva is a larger estate strewn with temples, pavilions and palaces. This is the Rajbari of the Bardhavan Rajas who lived here. Some of the temples within the Rajbari include the Pratapeshwar temple which has exquisite terracotta works depicting scenes from the Ramayana and images of Durga on its walls. This was built in 1849. To the left of this temple is a pavilion, the Rosamancha, with as many as 24 gateways on the outside. One of the largest temples in the complex is the Lal Jiu temple with the Giri Gobardhan temple in front. This is an example of the famous pinnacled temples of Bengal and is considered among the oldest. These temples are just few of the many that are strewn within this Rajbari. All of these were built through the 19th century when Kalna flourished as an important port town on the banks of the Bhagirathi and enjoyed the patronage of the Rajas of Bardwan. These temples, especially this breathtaking one with 108 small temples all strewn in a string is a must-see. 